I told him alcohol is the most dangerous one because it's the only one you don't know when you're fucked up. That's why alcohol is so dangerous, don't you say? Every other drug, you know. You, you know. There comes a point where you go, oh man, I am fucked up. Oh shit. Oh, let me sit down. I, I, no, I don't want to go anywhere. Uh, thanks for asking. For that. Watch this Parker for a while. <laughs> That's where they'll be. They're not hurting anybody. Where's Ronnie? He's over there. He's fucked up. He's been there four hours now. Going wow. With alcohol, with alcohol, you can see it on any. Friday or Saturday night in any town in America, go to a bar area, you'll see somebody too drunk to walk and they're arguing about it. I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk like that. I'm not dressed that. I'm not kick your ass. I can drive the goddamn car. Man, man, Jack, Dan. Drunk drivers go kill somebody, don't they? they do you know, every weekend in the state of Texas, drunk drivers kill people. Why? Because they're going too fast. Why? Because they don't know they're fucked up. Now, a marijuana smoker, if they get behind the wheel of the car, the worst thing that's going to happen to them, someone's going to run over their ass. They're going to grow themselves up. If you, if you never smoke, you ask someone who has you can't drive a car fast while stuck. And the car starts moving, it like it leaps into some kind of warp speed. Just scaring the bee Jesus out. Oh goddamn! Oh goddamn! Front end's gonna come up off the ground. I'm going so fast. Those other people must be driving rocket cars out there. Meow, meow, meow. Wow. When they come out with those, look down. You're going 11 miles an hour. <laughs> you ever get too stoned to drive? You'll know it. You find you set a traffic light to several <laughs> signal changes. But you notice that everything is moving with the music. And you're not going to be able to go until this CD is over. <laughs> It will fuck up the universe. <laughs> You're just down on the drive at that point. And you'll know it. Just get out of the car, leave it there in the intersection. Go find that dummy. You don't have to worry about your car. The police will have it. And they'll give it back. You've got the balls to go in there and tell the story. <laughs> they gave mine back. I had I left the car because I was too stoned in the, in the middle of Robert E. Lee Circle in New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, it's a big traffic circle. You've been there, sir, with this big statue in the middle of it. Five roads come into that motherfucker, plus two trolley cars. Yeah. One of them, if you're on St. Charles, comes around that statue, but it's coming right goddamn at you. Another one's going across here. I'm first in line, it's nighttime, it's raining, everything's glistening out there. And I've been smoking Thai stick with some buddies of mine. I am destroyed, man. And, and, and that light turns green, and brothers and sisters, I can't make it, I can't make it. It's too goddamn busy out there. And I, I don't know what to do, I just put the car in park and get out and start walking off. People are hollering their horns and yelling at them. What are you doing? I'm leaving is what I'm doing. Well, you can't do that. Well, yes, I can. Here I go. And I, you know, kind of stagger over a block and hail a cab and take me home so they don't, don't take St. Charles because it's fucking up over there. Department impound lot and get my car back. 
they're not known for their easy to along with gentlemen. And uh, so, excuse me, Sergeant, excuse me. I'm, yes, sir, I'm sorry to bother you, but I seem to have left my car in Robert E. Lee's circle last night. <laughs> You must be Mr. Shock. Yeah. That's correct. He said, can you tell us what the problem was, Mr. Shock? Car was in fine mechanical condition. You didn't leave it running there in the intersection. <laughs> 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 well, yes, I did that for you guys. It's a lot easier for you okay. to uh, drive it over here than it is to, uh, you know, hook it up and tell her. And he goes, well, then why did you leave it? And I said, well, to tell you the truth, officer, and you know, I know you understand, and I think the truth is the best thing here. I just got tired of that car. <laughs> <laughs> but I've changed my mind. <laughs> and I'm not back. <laughs> the guy shakes his head, he goes, you weren't smoking anything, were you? And I go, no. <laughs> Rule number two.